I know we've got some rain in the forecast, a little moist out there today, Devin. Hi there, we are here at Bastion Elementary here in our third grade class here in Ms. Varos' class. And thanks so much, Miss Brittany, out here too, our teacher's aid too, and our third graders. Everybody having a good time here today? Yeah! All right, I kind of stood behind you here, so you don't have to look at me, but you can look and be really cute for everybody watching you here at home there. There's Mr. John that's showing everybody here today. I'll get up kind of in the, in the front of the room here in a little bit, but we were already talking a little weather today, were we not? Yeah? Yeah? Well, I love the enthusiasm, the welcome here for the third grade class. But yes, you can even see we were talking about weather. We can talk about fun things. So we were just getting into something that just came out today, and I just got done discussing that. Does anybody, can anybody tell me what forecast just came out today and was updated? I see a hand here. This gentleman's been on the ball today. What is your name? Tyler. Tyler? Kyler. Kyler. That's what I thought. Kyler. What, what just came out today that we're talking about right now? Um, we're talking about the three-month outlook of the precipitation yeah. probability. It's For what months? For December, January, and February. Okay, and we would call that is our what season? <laughs> it comes after fall. It comes after fall. What's your name? Boston. Boston. I love that there's a city by that name. Did you know that? Okay, Boston. Do you, what, what do we call that season? Winter. Nicely done. Kyler, Boston, working together here as a team in the third grade class should. So we're looking at our precipitation forecast. No, you did great. You described the whole thing we looked at, the precipitation problem. You used the big words, too. I love it. So we did look at that forecast today. We haven't quite dug into the fine details of it just yet, though. But as I look up at the screen, the color shows me that it's not brown, it's not green, but the color shows me it's white. You think that means we're going to get a lot of snow this winter? Yeah? Huh. Well, we might have more on that coming back in just a few more minutes, and I think that's what we'll spend the rest of the time on. You want to know what our weather is going to be for the winter? Yeah. All right, let's take a vote. Who wants a lot of snow this winter? Interesting. That's quite a few. Who doesn't want a lot of snow this winter? Oh, <laughs> we got a vote there. But we don't want it to. We, want, we love school because we don't want to come, we don't want to stay home from school, right? Oh, wait a minute. There was a pause. I heard a lot. I, I didn't hear very much there. Okay, maybe we do. We love our classroom, though, and this is a brand new classroom for what it looks like, too, in a brand new school. Who wants to talk a little weather for us right now? Who wants to look at the weather? Okay, well, let's do a forecast. What do you say we do that? Yeah. And then we'll come back to it. Okay, the entire time, look and smile at the camera. You can wave, too, because you're on TV right now. That's what everybody wants to see. I love it out there. So there's a look outside here for what's going on in our by rider downtown cam. And here's a look at real-time temperatures for us. And we're looking for those temperatures that are doing pretty well. We're going to have to go through that forecast pretty quickly, though. And it's been cool. Was it a little chilly for you coming to school this morning? Yeah, it was a little cool. So what we're watching is winds are expected to pick back up today. They're not too strong just yet, but there's a look at current wind speeds, wind gusts. It's not too bad. Temperatures across the region, there's where we stand, and winds, it's been southern Utah, has been a bit warmer this morning because the winds had been stronger over the likes of Cedar City and Moab and St. George today and the stronger gusts. And it's central and southern Utah, that's where we're expecting the fire danger to be pretty high. Have we had some recent fires you've heard about? Yeah, we have. It's been unfortunate. So the real high fire danger is from about Juab, Carbon, Emory counties, and farther south today. In the bigger picture, though, did you know there is something coming our way? I know we talked earlier. Boston even over here told me we're going to get tonight. Rain. Rain. And at higher elevations, we're going to get... A rainstorm. A rain at higher elevations. What are we going to get when we go up a little bit higher, though? It's not going to be rain. It's going to be... No. What's your name? Molly. Molly, I love that out there. My niece's name is Molly out there. So we could get some snow. Can you believe that? The Pinpoint Future Cast forecast shows that we don't really get it today. Not really this evening, but overnight towards tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, I hope you tell your parents, hey, mom and dad, wake me up a little bit earlier. We may have to take a few extra minutes to get to school because you know what's going to happen? It's probably going to be raining tomorrow morning, and it's going to be a little bit wet. And that means what happens when the cars are driving on wet roads? They go faster or slower? They go faster? Really? A lot of times that I've had a lot of problems with, they go a lot slower. That's what I'm saying. Maybe mom and dad take a couple extra minutes. Out of this storm, it's only northern Utah who gets it yet again. It's kind of like the big one we had last week. In southern Utah, 
just gets a cooler temperature from 88 and a windy day in Cedar or in St. George today down to 82 tomorrow. Salt Lake City in the Wasatch Front, we are looking for our temperatures to go from mid 70s today, but tomorrow with clouds and rain for a better part of the day, we might only hit a high temperature and maybe if we get a little sun to come out late in the day, it's 63. So it's going to be pretty chilly tomorrow. But that means for the weekend, things are going to go away. We're going to get a lot more sun. Now, are you ready for a good weekend? Yeah! Yeah, I think we're going to get a good weekend out there. How about some sunshine? Yeah? Sunshine in upper 60s and mid to upper 70s on Sunday. I don't think a fall-like weekend gets any better than that because on Monday we get fall. Fall begins is what it says. Okay, we're back here at Bastion Elementary. We've been here the entire time. But that's your weather update from now. We want to talk a little bit about our winter weather forecast that just updated and came back out today. We'll discuss more on that, and then we will tell you what could be in store for that entire winter season forecast from Midday Weather School on ABC4 News. Those kids were definitely excited about the forecast I was for the just weekend. feeling good, Devin, about Fall Monday. Then he said,